recipe which is for Nowruz special. Nowruz is a um, it's a big celebration around the Persia, Afghanistan, and some other parts of the world uh, where people celebrate the uh, first day of a spring, they call it, also as a new year. Um, so I'm going to show you a recipe called Samanak. It's very traditional in our country and um, it does take time to prepare it, also to cook it. So for those of you who are familiar, you'll know what I mean by that. So let's take a look at the ingredients for Samanak and uh, let's go to the recipe. The recipe to make Samanak um, here I have is two cups of uh, barley and um, I'm using this brand. You can use any other brand you wish. So it's basically a whole uh, large size of a barley because there are many variety of this in the store. So here's what I'm doing. It's basically I'm going to soak this for about uh, three days and each day I'm going to change the water and add fresh cold water and leave it again. So after three days, um, what you're going to do is rinse this one last time and you're going to transfer this barley into another dish and uh, with no water. So please remember that. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, an example here. And once you get a chance to transfer it to another dish, while you rinse it, you will need a clot and you're going to wet the clot and place it on top of the barley and you're going to leave it for another three to four days but each day you want to um, re-wet the clean clot and place it on top so what does that do is basically it's going to grow the roots of this barley as you can see here so that's how it's going to look and um, the more times that you wet your clot and place it on top of this barley, the greener look you will get. So here are some green, it's just about growing. Now for me, you will notice that it's not that green. Uh, basically, it will grow a grass, a green grass, because I work every day, so it's hard for me to wet the clot three to four times a day, so I only get a chance to wet it twice a day. And many of you might have the same um, concern as well, which is no problem. So this is good enough for me, right? So it took me about three to four business, uh, sorry, three, three to four days, excuse me, um, to grow all these roots, also known as uh, sprouts. And um, now I'm going to make my samanak. So I have two here and just wanted to show you guys the demo. And if you have any concerns, any more questions, you can inbox me um, through my uh, YouTube channel or you can leave your comment below the video. So let's go in making of the salmonac. Next what we need is uh, your blender or your mixer. So pretty much um, I have the um, barley here. So I have rinsed it one more time. Now I'm going to break it into pieces and add it to the um, blender here. So pretty much what I'm trying to do is uh, we need the juice of this, or some people call it the milk of this because it does look kind of whitish. And I'm also going to add about two cups of water to this. And I'm going to blend So what this. we'll need is a strainer. And you can use something like this or something like that in a larger size. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do is uh, we need the juice of um, this barley or the milk of this. Please make sure with the help of a spoon or a wooden spoon you press down so you can release all the juice of this and uh, you need to keep that. Okay, so one more time I'm going to run this through with some help of a water uh, just two times and um, we will follow right, the guys, same so steps here again. I'm using about uh, six cups of uh, wheat flour. Um, the reason I'm using wheat flour because it speeds up the uh, cooking for samanak. Originally samanak takes about 8 hours to cook it. That's with all-purpose flour which is white flour. Um, and I'm, well, I'm cheating a little bit so I'm going to use whole wheat which would be less hours to prepare this in cooking. Uh, the taste won't be changed, uh, maybe a little bit slightly changed. So um, just wanted to let you guys know to also keep this as a side in case you need more liquid of the barley for the flour then you can process the same thing again that I showed you in the beginning. Alright, so I'm using a pot here. You need a um, medium to large size of a pot. I'm going to add all the flour to this and my heat is on a medium. Slowly I'm going to add about half of this liquid and I'm going to mix this immediately. We don't want any lumps. 
Please make sure that your heat is close to medium to low because uh, this will take about an hour or so to be done. I'll let you guys know approximately how long and I have kept some more of the liquid in case this is too thick. And uh, if you need, you can, um, if you like, I mean, you can use the help of a wooden spoon as well. But make sure there's no lumps. And you need to constantly um, stir All right, this. guys, so it's been about an hour that um, the samanak is being prepared and cooked. I have been stirring this, and my heat is still closer to a low to medium. Uh, when it turns to this texture, you can see it's getting together and it's turning thick. I'm going to add about one cup of more of the liquid, the remaining here. And uh, I'm going to cook it for another um, 45 minutes to one hour and then the samanak should be ready. Alright everyone, so the samanak is 95% ready. Uh, you can see the thickness here. So what I'm going to do now is basically cover the top and let this get simmer for about a uh, good 12 to 10 minutes and put your heat on a very once you cover the top, please make sure that you uh, let this get simmer for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. And if you need to uh, stir it, you can stir it. Alright guys, so Thank this you. recipe took me exactly 2 hours to cook this and our samanak is ready. So what I'm going to do is let this cool down before you serve it and you can um, enjoy it. And here's a recipe on samanak. Um, traditionally, in the middle of the cooking of this, uh, we Afghans add about one or two uh, walnut, the whole walnut with the um, with the skin on it. Um, but I don't have any walnuts at home today, so I have uh, garnished it with some uh, sesame seeds. Uh, this is the sesame seed. Uh, people also use um, puppy seeds, and there are two colors of it, black and white. It's up to you. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe. Um, do try it for now, Rose, for those of you who um, want to prepare it or for those of you who enjoyed it in general. And um, I hope you guys do like today's recipe. Do share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Um, until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.